welcome back friends so i am proceeding with the question number five in our next examination 2019 biology one as you have seen in our diagram which i have shown you here on the first question they ask you to identify the type of tissue presented in the figure this is columnar epithelium or simple columnar epithelium and for the sake of this question i want just to explain you a few words which will help you in determining these tissues so in these tissues or in this epithelial tissue because this is epithelial tissue in the epithelial tissues we have simple then we have stratified stratified then we have pseudo stratified now you should understand these basic things in order to to simplify your understanding and answering the questions if we say simple means it is one layer one layer of cell so let's say in a simple we can draw it maybe like this this is one layer of cell and then here we have basement membrane but if we say stratified it means it's many layers stratified so maybe here there is another layer of cells let's say and here again there is another layer of cell so this is what we will call stratified and in pseudo stratified now it is seen as if it is two or more layers but it is one layer so for example in the epithelium of respiratory tract you can observe a tendency like this maybe this cell has reached the top another cell has just ended here then another cell has just started here and there. so if you see this cell if you see this cell the nucleus they are arranged like this and here maybe let's say we have another cell here then you have another cell here then let's say we have another cell here then you have another cell then another cell so here nucleus 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 so for example for this epithelia here you can see nucleus 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 so if you are looking at this epithelia you can see as if there are three lines of nucleus but here if you are looking you can see as if there are two lines of nucleus however it is one layer of, of epithelia so they are pseudo pseudo means false they are looking as if they are stratified however they are not stratified and then in the next words because hii na kwa neno la kwanza utakuta labda ni simple squamous squamous means flat then columna means inakuwa ni height yake is longer than width but you have cuboid ambayo inakuwa ni cubic yani height na width they are approximately the same so i think i have increased some of the knowledge too. so you must also know where are these found maybe simple squamous where are these found simple squamous unaweza kuzikuta kwenye lower respiratory tract kwenye alveolus aflabda stratified squamous utaikuta wapi labda kwenye skin then tunakuja labda kwenye pseudo stratified epithelium pseudo stratified always when kwa pseudo stratified columnar utaikuta wapi 
pseudostratified columna utaikuta kwenye respiratory tract hapa respiratory tract alafu labda let's say cuboid epithelium utazikuta wapi lazima unajua hiyo so for example kwa hawa columna kwa sababu ile swali ni wametoka kwenye nutrition sasa lazima uelewe sometimes they can give you any part so for this simple columna they are simple columna epithelium so identify the type of tissue presented in figure it is a simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium identify type of tissue dive examine the depth of of the tissue is simple columnar epithelium pia licha kwamba zinakoza na shape hii sometimes they can they can have glands which release enzymes so for example hapo unaona kabisa hizo simple columnar epithelium they are they are taken from the stomach they are taken from the stomach kwa hiyo simple columnar epithelium from the stomach kwa sababu esophagus ina stratified squamous epithelium esophagus stomach ndio kuna simple columna pamoja na other parts of the intestine lakini tukifika tena kule kwenye rectum tunakuta tena kuna stratified squamous kwa sababu ya anorecto pale kwenye 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 anorecto junction ina change kutoka kwenye simple squamous kwenda kwenye stratified columna na kwenye esophageal esophageal stomach junction pia zina change kutoka kwenye certified squamous kwenda kwenye simple columna na simple columna digestive rule yake ni kwamba kwanza ina, ina may contain gland kama hapo ambayo inaweza ka release enzymes for digestion lakini pia simple columna kwa sababu they are one layer yani ina provide easier transport or absorption of material because it is one layer cell elaborate how structure of the tissue related to its function and how it adaptation adaptation does in me kwambia kwamba ina glands which release enzyme enzymes kwa kama kwenye stomach itakuwa ni gastric gastric juice ambayo may contain may contain enzymes na hydrocolicase lakini pia kwa hizi tissue hapa pia zina release mucus kwa adaptation ni gland ku release enzyme ambazo hizo enzyme always always inakuwa release inactive pia they have mucus wanakuwa na mucus gland ambayo mucus gland ina release mucus protecting especially this is for stomach protecting the wall of the stomach against the acidic condition caused by the hcl then these cells being columna and being one layer that's also adaptation because it easier the transportation or absorption of the materials from the stomach or from the GIT from the GIT into the blood and then question b alikuwa anataji examine three features of ilem which increase its surface area ambazo hizo hapo hata kwenye bs mlo tazikuta kuna mambo ya microvilli kuna villa is anyway then you have microvilli then kuna its length that is it is very long for increasing the time for absorption then it is more coiled so that food moves then it is it is wall it is made up of single layer of columnar epithelium so as to easier or to to shorten the distance of 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 food to move there and then some of the enzyme they incorporated in the columnar epithelium and i think they're exact then why it is the advantages for ilm to have large surface area give two reason kwa nini advantage for ilm to have large surface area because most of the digestions most of the end product of the food process they are digested yani foods they are digested to their end products in the ilm so if it could have small surface area to volume ratio means we could pass out large amount of the undigested food because of the fact of surface area and i think that's all about digestion and absorption so it's two, two things digestion and absorption two reasons two advantages for and then question number six state the function of the following neurons 
kuna motor neuron motor neuron ni kama unavyojua kazi yake ni kuchukua impulse from the central nervous system to the peripheral or to the effector then sensory it is from the receptor to the central nervous system lilai it is within the central nervous system so you can just see 